Hello everyone, my name is Gennard Garcia, Technical Marketing Engineer at Pulled Secure. Today I'm going to give you uh, some of the new features that we have in the latest release 17.4 and today we're going to talk about cluster-wide upgrade uh, feature. This is a very cool feature and uh, let me just give you some explanation on how this works so that when you're planning to do this on your lab or your production environment, you get an understanding on how to deploy it. So first of all, uh, the way it works is that there's some requirements into this. In order for the upgrade, the cluster-wide upgrade to work, you need to have every uh, v, uh, v traffic manager to be in the same uh, release code. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to work. What I meant is that if you're in a cluster, you have VTM, multiple VTMs here. These uh, VTMs, traffic managers, must have the same uh, code release, 17.4 as an example. This is the latest one that we support the cluster-wide uh, upgrade feature. Uh, it has to be all in the 17.4 or above. The only thing, there's a caveat here, uh, we can support multi-hypervisor, which means that it does not have to be uh, on the same hypervisor, meaning it does not have to be on, on uh, you know, this thing can be on VMware. This could be on KVM. And this could be on Hyper-V, the Microsoft hypervisor. So regardless of what hypervisor it is, it will function with the upgrade, the cluster-wide upgrade process. The first thing it's going to do is that you have to define your admin server, which holds the actual upgrade uh, file or, or upgrade uh, software. What it's going to do is that it will upgrade in a sequential mode, one at a time, not the whole thing. That is not supported yet. Uh, what it's doing is that it's going to upgrade one at a time, once the upgrade process and it's been executed correctly, it will reboot this thing, this, this VTM. Um, and then once the upgrade is completed, it will move on to other VTM to get the upgrade. The reason why we're doing that is because we don't want to affect the traffic, the, the existing traffic that's running in these uh, virtual traffic manager. Otherwise, you know, if you do an upgrade you know, uh, multiple uh, boxes, that traffic might not, uh, might not be able to sustain whoever, you know, who is available to support that traffic. So once that is all upgraded uh, in the cluster, what happens is that it goes back to the admin server. You can only have one admin server to execute the upgrade. And then it upgrades itself. Once it's upgraded, it also reboots itself. Uh, and uh, it, it also reboots itself. And then once it's rebooted, it will then again take traffic. All the configuration are kept the same. Nothing will change. The only thing that this change is that the upgrade, uh, uh, the, the upgrade uh, or the software has been upgraded to the latest version, whatever the case may be. OK? One caveat is that uh, right now in the traffic manager, uh, uh, in the admin, you can only monitor the admin, but on the other uh, VTMs within the cluster, you will not be able to monitor. Uh, those are uh, added features in the future release, but uh, for now, we can only monitor on the admin server, you know, if the up uh, upgrade on this box is going well or not. Again, thank you for watching. Feel free to test this uh, feature on your lab. Uh, and also looking forward for you to deploy it on your production environment. Again, my name is Gennard Garcia, Technical Marketing Engineer at Pulled Secure. Thank you for watching.